I think we have a problem. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Jess and I, this was none of my planned videos, but I, I feel like this is urgent. Um, I feel like this is a concern. I feel like I needed to address this. I was like, let me, let me sit down real quick. Um, cause I am going out of town. So I wanted to film this before. Um, I just, I don't know if you guys are ready. <sighs> okay. It's about. It's about covers, illustrated covers. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, you heard me. If you don't know what I mean, here you go. I've seen multiple videos on Book Talk where the youth are reading these books because of the deceptive, devious, illustrated cover, and I am sick, I, I need a minute. Okay, if you can tell I'm um, playing with you, not playing with you that I have seen the video. I have seen these videos of a lot of people saying that the illustrated covers are very deceptive, um, that a lot of children are reading them. I've seen this from booksellers. I've seen it from teachers. Um, a big example that keeps getting brought up is this one. I forgot what it's called, Heartbreaker, Icebreaker, whatever it's called, um, from teacher who said they've seen their fifth graders reading it, some middle schoolers reading it, and it is an adult romance that does have, I believe, does have sex on page. And so I was being dramatic with the ruining, you know, whatever. I do want to insert a video from TikTok. Um, I don't know where I'll insert it. But so I watched a few videos this morning. One was from a teacher who was saying she has fifth graders reading this and she also was talking about other romances and Colleen Hoover. I work at a school and a fourth grader brought this book. I'm gonna tag her in the in the comments below or in the caption because I can't, she doesn't have her stitches on. But this is such an epidemic. I don't wanna say epidemic, but this is a problem. A problem I've been seeing in the schools, like at the school I work for, for months. For months, I've been telling my sister, I'm like, this is an actual problem. Not only have I seen, specifically, I work with 5th and 6th graders, okay? So these are not like, this is not junior high, this is not like 8th grade, no. These are 5th and 6th graders. The books I've seen them reading, I'm like, I don't even take those books out in public! What? So here are some of the books I've seen them reading. I've seen Icebreaker, that's for one. Also, there's a book club of, like, eight girls who are in fifth grade who read, like, the same book, which, like, I'm all for, love reading the same book as my friends. They started with the selection, which I'm like, okay, yeah, sure, like, they went through the books, and I'm like, okay, yeah, like, that's a good book. I don't know about fifth grade, but okay. Now they've moved on to the Twilight series, and I'm just like, okay, like, that, they're, the first ones are okay, do your parents know you're reading this though that's my genuine question do your parents know you're reading this and do they just like not care i've also seen this is all girls i've also seen girls reading the twisted love series once again i'm like okay i guess but also you should not be reading this in the fifth grade who gave you the idea to read this book also Girls have started reading Colleen Hoover. I'm like, I don't even read Colleen Hoover. Y'all are reading Colleen Hoover in the fifth grade? What? Like, when I was their age, I was reading the Royal Diaries. Or, like, the Princess Diaries. Things like that. What is going on? And then uh, a bookseller who was saying that, you know, kids are buying or parents are buying for their children books like Icebreaker. Is it Icebreaker? I, I don't, I can't see it right now. I can't remember the title, but it'll be here. And then this also leads into a larger conversation of a separate video that I'm working on because I want to be very careful about how I talk about it. But 
someone made a video talking about they were looking for a young adult book like they were typing it in and one of the top searches was does this book contain or is this is this book spicy i told y'all before i was searching for the sun is also a star on google and like one of the top questions is is it spicy again a different topic but then that person sent a video and was saying that they're seeing more and more younger and younger people who are picking up adult romances um whether they're by themselves or their parents buying them and so there's been some people like these covers need to be changed they're misleading because they are giving off that they're like a children's book or a young adult book i did watch a good video where someone was showing comparisons between what illustrated adult romances and like middle grade and young adult books like especially middle grade and they're markedly different but also I forgot what I was going to say. I still haven't remembered what I was going to say, but so I'll put in some adult because I don't have a lot. I have some romance up here, but a lot of them don't have, they're not the certain type of illustrated cover that a lot of people are talking about. They don't, I don't have that many that have people on them. And if they do, they're kissing. So I feel like that gives off more of a, this is an adult romance vibe. But anyway, I picked up a couple middle grade books that I do have on my shelf where I feel like you can definitely tell this is a middle grade book. This is a middle grade book. This is a middle grade book. I feel like the art is very different. Um, so I want to say I'm happy the youths are reading, but mm, and there's nothing wrong with reading a love story, but they should be age appropriate. But talking about the covers, oh, I remember where I was going earlier. So people are saying the covers are deceptive, they need to be changed. Um, I don't know if they mean just not illustrated at all, or they need to be very apparent that they're like an adult romance. Uh, but then obviously there's a lot of people who like the illustrated covers because they're discreet, which don't even get me started on that because one of the videos I watched, she was like, I don't even read some of these books in public. Who cares? I don't need a clinch cover in, cover in public and like I just feel like in 2024 we're still ashamed of what we're reading it's not like you I don't know I, whatever but some other people were saying it needs to be like how CDs were that had like explicit or mature content or like video games like they need to have a rating on them here's my thing for the youths. Now, obviously, every child is different. Me, me, young Jessica was a poor. So I did not get to buy books that often. I got books from the library. Um, and I was always in my usual age range. But I feel so when I did go buy books, it was with my mother. Um, so, so I feel like she would know what I was buying. But I guess back then it was more clinch cover romances and I was just not even in that section I was like looking at fantasy books and obviously I know don't freak out but I was I didn't get to buy many books so I can tell you how many books I bought in my youth with my the little bit of spare money that was given I had some goosebumps books um I had some babysitter club books and then um I had I would I got Harry Potter books and that was that was about it I did not own many now I guess all of this to say is I think a bigger conversation should be where are your parents okay because I don't think it's the place and I don't even think they're allowed to like not sell a youth a book you know it's I don't think it's a place of the booksellers to be like hey you shouldn't be reading this this is not age appropriate and I don't even again I'm not a bookseller I never have been but I don't think they can I don't even think they can do that like if someone picks up a book and they come in with legal tender I think they're able to purchase it or if you're the parent maybe if your kids like here I want this book maybe you should I know this is this is crazy maybe you should read it or read the flap you could you could read the flap or the blur on the back now don't call it Jessica. Some people can't read. Okay, shut up, please. I'm talking about the ones who can. Maybe look at the book, even if it looks innocuous to people, because I've seen some people say that Icebreaker in particular uh, looks like a high school romance. Even 
But if it's a high school romance, why is a fifth grader reading? Whatever. But maybe you open up that flap, or since it's a romance and it's a paperback, you read it on the back. Maybe you do that. Or you could pull out this and you could Google it. Like, is this book for young adults? Is this book okay for children? I think the problem and the solution are the parents. Oh, I know I'm not a parent. Don't come for me, Nigel. Um, but I don't know, but maybe they just send their children into the wild with some money and then they put their books up in their room and they don't pay attention. I don't know, I can't relate because again, I didn't have money and I had a mother who was very like, what is that? What are you doing? Where are you reading? Where are you going? What did you buy? Where'd you get that from? What is it? Um, I'm still surprised she let me read Harry Potter. Huh. I just think it's wild to say that the entire industry, let's cancel, <laughs> let's stop doing illustrated covers because parents are not checking what their children are reading. Um, because I also saw someone say like, oh, you pick up this book and you think it's just going to be cutesy or something. And then it's like, oh my God, I guess, I guess again, they're having sex on page. I have not read the book. I don't have any interest in it. But <sighs> what do you think? What do you think the problem is? Do you think there should be ratings on books? Because I don't. Now, I do like that more authors are adding content warnings in the beginning of books. So before you read it, it says, you know, this may con con contain assault and murder and blah, blah, blah. But like us now, we already hate these goddamn like Netflix and book club stickers. Imagine if it had like a big old M mature on there. I just don't think that's necessary. Now, I have my own feelings about illustrated covers. I for the, I like illustrated covers for the most point. Um, I don't like them when they're just like a blob of a face and they don't have facial features. And I also feel like because certain artists have gotten very popular, which love that for them, and they have great art styles, but a lot of books just look like you know who that artist is, which is obviously a good thing because it's like, ooh, that's a so-and-so. I want that person to do my book and that's great for the artist, but it's just like, the books all tend to look the same. I guess you could say the same thing for clinch covers. I don't know. I guess you can't, there's not that much. This isn't the point of the video, but I have my own small qualms with illustrated covers. But I don't think that illustrated covers are to be blamed in the situation of younger people reading romances that are not age appropriate for them. And now under some of these videos, I have seen people be like, oh, leave them be. We've all read books that we weren't supposed to like at certain ages. Um, not all of us, okay? Some of us were straight edge, okay, because we were terrified of our mothers. But I know that that does happen. People, you know, have, are like, I read a Stephen King in elementary school or whatever. It happens, but if there is a concern and I'm not a parent, I'm not in charge of any youths besides my dog and he cannot read, I don't think. Um, so I, you know, this is coming, my perspective as an outsider. And I don't think the best thing is for super young children to be reading adult romances, especially that are explicit. Um, but again, as a parent, and obviously, I, I mean, I don't, I wouldn't think that Icebreaker would be like in an elementary school library, but I don't know. I don't know. I feel like I've rambled and it hasn't been very coherent, but I just wanted to get that off my spirit because again, I don't think it's the illustrator or publishing's fault that the youths are reading romances. And I will insert this last TikTok. If you showed this to most parents, like if a kid walked up to you and was like, hey mom, can I get this? It kind of looks like a normal little romance, right? If you're not paying attention too much, you might think they're in high school. I am going to show you how you can avoid this. Mommy, 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 yeah. mommy, I want to get this book. Oh, I want to get this book. Okay, I let me it. see. Okay. And see, there's a oh, cartoon on the front. I want it. Very pretty. Okay, yeah, can let I me get it? the back. Hold on. I want it. Can I get it, please? Okay. 
Please, mm. can I get it? Okay, let's go to the cash register because I need to see if you can read this. Hi, um, I'm trying yes, to see if this book is age appropriate for my oh, kid. Oh, yeah, yeah, sure. Really of course, no problem. This is adult fiction. This oh. is a fairy and a vampire doing it multiple times. Oh. And it is a 10 out of okay. 10 for me, but oh, it is labeled okay. adult oh, fiction okay. Okay. and okay. would be for 18 and no, older. No, you're not getting this. And the fashion save the books. I know y'all have seen this one before and it's from Boardwalk. I have any, not any time, but a lot of the ones you see me wearing in videos are from Boardwalk. Um, I like to get crew necks because that's my thing, but you can also get hoodies or t-shirts and you can use my code. I'll put it on the screen to save money on your purchase. Um, but yeah, I mean, I've bought <laughs> the most of the ones that I have and I'm feeling like I need to get me a new one. Hmm. But anyway, we're still having a problem with book bans and Ashley made a video maybe a couple weeks ago and I will link that because you should go watch it. Uh, still happening and so I feel like it's also a dangerous maybe not dangerous or a slippery slope to start saying like let's put ratings on books or public there to blame for the used reading books because I feel like that could easily just funnel into the book banning that's already happening but what do I know but thank you for coming to my, t <laughs> I was gonna say my TikTok. We're coming to my dad talk. Let me know your thoughts down in the comments. Keep it cute, keep it respectful. Well, thank you for watching. Uh, stay blessed, hydrated, moisturized. Um, wait, stay blessed, hydrated, moisturized, hydrated and sunscreen. Wow, I just don't know why that struggled. I'm, str I'm struggling. <laughs> I'll see you in the next one, bye.